Hi, welcome back. In this video, we go on a trip from Newfoundland, Canada to St. Pierre Miquelon, which are islands owned by France. You're able to take a ferry out of Fort Toon and sail to St. Pierre and Miquelon. This is the ferry that takes you from Fort Toon over to St. Pierre or Miquelon, depending where it's heading to. If you're going to bring your uh, vehicle, Make sure you have special insurance so you're covered over in France. Otherwise, they won't let you off the ferry with your vehicle unless you buy insurance through them. This way you're legal and have coverage. While you're riding on the ferry, they also have books and pamphlets for things that you can do on the islands while you're visiting. And they also have maps that are a huge help for uh, figuring out where places are. This is coming into Michelon. Here's their downtown center. For the most part, everything's within walking distance. So I just walked around and enjoyed the scenery. This is the uh, tourist information center. This is uh, overlooking the uh, water. There's a little hiking trail I started going up. This is up on top of the uh, hill to the right when you come off the ferry. I started walking and a uh, nice local gave me a ride so it saved me a ton of time. And uh, he gave me a little tour. So it's just up at the top taking some pictures in all the directions. The uh, pictures don't do it justice. The local that picked me up and took me to the top of the hill offered to uh, take me for a short little tour on the drive back into the downtown area. So this is just uh, on our drive, overlooking everything. It's uh, very pretty. That building there is their water treatment center. They have a reservoir at the top of the hill and that's where they get their water for the uh, town for drinking. So the way it worked out, I was on Miquelon for about six hours or so with the way the ferry schedule was. So I had lots of time to wander around and interact with people. Everyone was uh, very friendly. I did find that compared, comparing uh, Miquelon to St. Pierre, that a lot more people in St. Pierre could uh, speak English or some portion of English, where I found on Miquelon, Everyone was a lot more uh, French only, but they still tried to uh, communicate with you and were very friendly. I don't speak any French at all for the most part, but I was still able to communicate and uh, get to the places I wanted to get to and uh, get what I needed, and everyone was very friendly. So when I took this trip, it was uh, July 2023, and uh, I arrived on Miquelon on Friday the 28th, and then I ended up taking the ferry over to St. Pierre and spent Friday night the 28th on, in a hotel, and then I spent the Saturday night as well, the 29th in the hotel, and, and then Sunday morning, the uh, 30th, I caught the ferry and uh, headed back to Fort Toon in Newfoundland to continue my bike trip. So this road is just taking us 
behind that big hill that's by the uh, downtown center and uh, it wraps all the way around and the direction that we're heading is bringing us back towards the town.
So we're arriving back towards the uh, town now. We're on the back side opposite to the ferry. It's all nice farmland. And That's the uh, hill that we drove around. This is the front side of the island again. This is the port where you get on and off of the ferry and we're getting ready to get back onto the ferry to go to St. Pierre. The land in the back is uh, St. Pierre, so we're starting to come into port now. This is at one of the uh, local bars. That's uh, one of their local beers that they make. That's a cool uh, gun thing full of liquor. And now these are just some pictures going through the town. This is the downtown area. You can kind of see where the ferries parked there. So I just walked around the uh, town, I went up and down the streets and uh, just kind of wandered. I was able to find food and all that kind of stuff, no problem. Um, the population is around 6,000 people in the town. And it's uh, very safe, even at night. I had no issues walking around by myself or anything. I, it was a very nice place to be.
If you go to the uh, football fields, in behind them there's some hiking trails that will take you up the uh, hill that's uh, behind them. If you follow the road out of town, there's a nice little uh, picnic area that you can uh, stop and eat at. It's nice scenery. There's uh, tables there, there's some maps, and it has a, uh, a nice view overlooking the water as well. By the entrance where you get into this picnic area, there's uh, some hiking trails, there's signs marking it out. And you can go uh, hiking up there too on top of the hills. This is where I slept my two nights on the island. I was uh, very happy with it, it was awesome. The owner was awesome. I gave it a 10 out of 10. And the uh, pizza place attached to it, really good pizza. So definitely stop and get some pizza as well. The ice cream is really good, so definitely gotta make sure you grab some ice cream. All this stuff, this is along the uh, waterfront. 
never actually seen a torpedo in real life before. They're pretty big. It's kind of interesting, a lot of mechanical stuff in there. So I thought it was uh, pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. If you're thinking about going to St. Pierre or Michelot, definitely uh, go and check them out. You'll have a good time. Everybody's friendly. Have a great night.